Hand screw clamps. We're going to talk about hand screw clamps today. A lot of woodworkers are confused about these things, and we're going to try and simplify the process. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mark. Have you ever seen one of these before? Of course I have. My grandmother used to use one of these all the time. It's a yarn weaver. Man, I never knew your grandmother was so ugly. And she could use a shave, too. Yeah, grandmother was always kind of prickly. Hey, guys, all kidding aside, this clamp is really simple to use, and I'm going to show you how. The main thing is with this, Mike, is remaining consistent with it. I do it this one particular way, and I do it the same way all the time. I put the center one in my left hand, and the one closest to me in my right and I know that if I just hold this one and turn this they come back together or they open up if I come back and if you do it the same way all the time it's consistency so you'll be able to get it if you want to you want to get it to where it's close and then you can put your board in there and just well first I want to show you that if you move them together the same direction see how they go parallel mm -hmm. right or if you want them to come together they come towards you and if you do it that same way all the time you have that consistency see so you can get this side tight first and then tighten here and it brings the front tight and that you can check that that's tight oh yeah yeah and the nice thing is if you have to do it over again you just loosen it pull it out put your other one in tighten it back again and it's just you don't have to go through the whole process sure every time yeah makes so, sense yeah i think if you gave it a shot i think you would find that you really need two of these in your shop. You don't really need more than two. You don't want just one. You want two because there's just so many uses for two of them at the same time. And we'll show you that. Okay. Well, let's get started. And this is where the hand screw clamp shines. Because if you have just a regular table, you don't have a workbench with a vise, you can set one up this way, one to hold it, and you have a way of clamping your wood. You can plane, you can work on it however you want. And if you don't have a vise, this is another way. Two clamps. Or if you have a board too long for your vise, like this. Or as a stop lock, like this. Or this. Or like this. Or this. Mark, what are you doing? It's lunchtime. I'm pressing my Cuban sandwich. That's not the way you have a Cuban sandwich. You gotta make sure it's hot pressed. All right, or this. You got to glue up, pieces aren't lining up. And if you need to, you can even twist the clamp a little to get it right in line. Or when you're in the shop by yourself and you're trying to put some pieces together and you only have two hands, it's hard to get them to stand up and you put this on top and it wants to fall and you're fighting it the whole way all you have to do take your wood clamp
and hold up your pieces. Then you can put your third piece on and work on your fastening. Or like this. This, in this case, this is going to be a turned a chess piece, a knight, and we're going to have to uh, carve a little bit on it so it raises it up off the workbench where you can get to it. A little more comfortable. Or when your tripod wants to fall over because of the weight of the camera, you can do this. So, Robert, have you ever used this method? I use this all the time. No, this is a new one to me. It is? You can fasten, you can screw or nail, and your boards are held up, and I hear somebody coming. Mm. What's up, Grandma? Is that my yarn weaver? Yeah. Mm. 